Welcome to Champion Minded, the podcast for those who aim for excellence, not only in the sports arena, but in life. My name is Alistair McCaw, author, speaker, mindset and performance coach, and my goal is to help you unleash your unlimited potential and provide you with the tools to achieve greatness. Are you ready to become Champion Minded? Then let's do this. In a 2014 commencement speech at the University of Texas, Admiral William McRaven said this. Change the world? Start off by making your bed. If you make your bed every morning, you will have accomplished the first task of the day. It will give you a small sense of pride, and it will encourage you to do another task, and another, and another. And by the end of the day, that one task completed will have turned into many tasks completed. Making your bed will also reinforce the fact that the little things in life matter. If you can't do the little things right, you'll never be able to do the big things right. And if by chance you have a miserable day, you will come home to a bed that is made. That you made. And a made bed gives you encouragement that tomorrow will be better. There you have it. I find this speech so, so powerful. If you want to listen to the rest of it, it's on YouTube. It's Admiral William McRaven, Make Your Bed. Guys, a lot of you who listen to the podcast or have read Champion Minded will know that I'm very, very big into having morning routines. But before any of my morning routines begin, the first thing I do in the morning is make my bed. It seems something so trivial or so small, but it's something like like General or Admiral William McRaven said there that it gives you your first accomplishment of the day. And I'm going to share with you five reasons why I feel it's so important to make my bed in the morning. But first off, before I start, I'm going to read a passage from Champion Minded where uh, it's on page 99 and it's about discipline starts with making your bed. From as early as I can remember, my parents told me to make my bed first thing in the morning. I didn't fully understand or appreciate it at the time, but years later, I discovered the true value of this one simple act. Making the bed presents me with my first act of discipline of the day. Right from the start, I feel more productive and ready to take on the day. It's an important part of my daily routine that provides me with structure and momentum, which lead to a more confident mindset to achieve my goals for the day. Okay, so you may be thinking, seriously, you feel like you've accomplished something by making your bed in the morning? Yes. Anything that requires an act of discipline or service is an achievement. How you start your day greatly impacts the rest of your day. In order to stay disciplined, create positive habits and routines. By making my bed and keeping my room tidy, I have a clean space and a clear mind to be productive on task. Being organized helps me be prepared on time and alert. I've always believed that a messy space leads to a messy mind. Also part of my, my routine in my office as well, as I make sure that my office desk stays tidy so I can think clearer, so I can make better decisions. If I have a table that's full of paper and full of old coffee mugs and bits and pieces, I can't think straight. I can't write clearly. I can't make better decisions. I've found that a disorganized cluttered space makes for a distracted and anxious mind. I also make my bed each morning because it's my bed. Even if you enjoy the privilege of having a housekeeper or a cleaning service to keep your space neat and clean, you should still take the responsibility for making your bed. Here's the thing, I even make my bed when staying in hotels. Yes, I do. I mean, even on the day I leave because I slept in that bed and I feel I should be responsible for making it. I'm forever grateful to my parents for instilling this simple act of discipline to start my day. And guys, here's the thing. Even if you haven't been brought up to make your bed or you don't make your bed right now, start now. It can be the most important two minutes to your day. Believe me, yes, even something so small. And I encourage you to listen to that YouTube video that we just uh, spoke about there with Admiral William McRaven. But to finish off, I'm going to give you five reasons why I find making my bed is so important in the morning. First off, as Admiral McRaven said, it's my first act of discipline of the day. We all know that success and achievement requires discipline. What is discipline, you say? Well, discipline is not punishment. 
Discipline is doing something that you might maybe not feel like doing, but you do it. And those things, when those little small disciplines day by day add up, that's what leads to success. Number two, I made that mess. So I need to take responsibility for that. It's a bigger life lesson. If I messed up, I need to take the steps to rectifying it, to improving it. And yes, something as small as sleeping in a bed and the sheets all over the place and the pillow is skew. If I put that all together again, I have taken ownership of that. I've taken accountability of cleaning up my own mess, so to say. Number three, here I practice gratitude while I make my bed. So, you know, your bed might take you 90 seconds or two minutes to make. But while I'm making the bed, I'm, th I'm being thankful for the things I have. I'm thankful that, that I have a bed. I'm thankful that I have a roof above my head. I'm thankful for the things I can be maybe doing that day. So I use that time to be grateful. Number four, it provides me with a clean space. Remember what I said? Messy space, messy mind. I want to come home after work and see a clean room and a made bed. And number five, it, it gives me my first achievement of the day and makes me feel accomplished already before I've even left the house in the morning. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this one today, guys. Making your bed is the first act of discipline of the day. Remember that this podcast is available on YouTube and on iTunes, Champion Minded. Follow me on social media, on Twitter, at Alistair McCaw, on Instagram, Be Champion Minded, and on Facebook, Alistair McCaw page. So guys, until next time, stay Champion Minded. <laughs>